All right, we really have not gone very far. So the house up there is lock six. This is lock seven. And uh, you, I'm just, I have to keep telling myself that this is the I and M canal. Like this is, there's so much history around that name. Yet this is so small. This is the width of the boats. Yeah. And uh, so this is lock seven and just some of the, the obviously there's a concrete wall here now, Ooh. but the wood, the, you know, obviously it must have been wood doors and they must have swung open, been secured up in here, or this was some kind of mechanism to help close it back up because the water is flowing. But on both sides, Now it's not very pretty. Oh. Oh, you're freaking me out. Well, when you fall into the muck, we have it on film. All right, you'll uh, you'll take the bridge back, right? Yeah. Hey, you get to say you crossed the I and M canal. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey, kids today. Oh, I'm not sure this bridge is much better. Uh, the next lock, I don't know if there's another lock on our hike, so these may be the only two locks that we see. Oh, this is a whole size. That's just amazing. All of the river commerce that took place 150 years ago came through here. Oh, that's a normal path? It was. <laughs> Why did I go the hard way? Um, we're still learning those things. <laughs> At least we had a nice cabin sleep instead of a cold tent sleep. It is freezing. I, I have not been, this is the coldest I've been all year. Right now? Yeah. yeah. So, we go that way. Yep.